anything you need for Halloween, this is Haunted School. And today guys, um, instead of doing Haunt Build Part 3, I am going to be doing yet another review as I said in um, my last review of the 7 foot Ghost Inflatable, that would be the last one of the year. Um, this is sort of a last minute buy um, I managed to get at the weekend and it got posted yesterday and it came in 24 hour deli delivery so I got it before Halloween. And um, yeah, this um, will quite make up for um, doing a haunt build because I have basically completed the haunt now as a little sneak peek of it. And um, yeah, basically this is the Tesco Halloween 2009 um, life-size butler. And this is a prop art I really wanted and I never thought I'd get this guy this year. And um, he is in practically brand new condition, literally. And um, as you can see the box is um, pretty flawless as well. And um, Let's give you a look at it. It says Tesco Halloween Talking Butler. It's got a nice big picture of the butler himself there. With a Photoshop for base out. Um, kind of funny, but it's basically just a white box with that picture on. And on the back it says Halloween Talking Butler Animated Room Decoration 127 centimeters, 48 inches at assembled height. Gives spooky greetings and phrases, motion activated and instruction instructions included. Down here it's got some small bits of information, barcode, and if you want to read that, just pause it. Um, so let's open the box for you, um, for you all, and I'll show you the instructions before I show, before I show you the parts of them. So hold them real quick, and if you want to read any of that, um, it's actually quite cool what these instructions are better than most. The diagrams are pretty good. If you want to read any of that, um, please pause. And um, damn it, fold it up again. And um, here is the back, just basically shows you what's on the back of the box. And down there, Tesco 2009, so that shows the year that this guy is. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get all the pieces laid out and um, show you how to assemble him. So, here we go. So down here is basically all the parts you get with him. Get his um, torso um, with everything attached. Basically, you get two poles which are for the lower legs. The um, legs, the legs um, with the trousers attached, and um, this bit of framework here. And there's some more poles inside here which I'm pretty sure are um, pre-attached to him. And finally, the base with the shoes attached. So now, um, what I'm going to do is um, show you how to assemble him. It's very simple and um, it's about a five minute job I'd say. It may be even less and um, once you've done it, the first time you'll know how to do it like every time basically. I'll just get these trouser legs sorted. It's just a simple case of inserting balls into the legs. Yeah, I'm gonna do this off camera. And now once his legs are attached, um, you can adjust the trouser legs to however you want. Just something I want to point out before the body's put on it, the body's actually a really good um, quality setup. It's actually better, better quality than most props these days, really like this plastic frame here. You can see the legs through here as well. And next part you want to do is, um, there is a pole right here for his body. And what you want to do is, not sure if you can see that, just basically align it with the one on his um, crossbar support and basically get it in all the way. You might need to twist him around a bit to get it all the way in. So I'll just do that off camera and we'll start a review. So here he is fully set up. Just to say straight off um, that this guy is really hard to believe that he has sold at Tesco. Like I never saw him in stores really. I only just found out um, probably like last year or something that he has sold at Tesco which really surprised me and um, yeah I've wanted him ever since I first seen videos of him really. And he is absolutely um, massive, it's really tall actually, I'd say he's nearly 5 feet. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in um, his older ca his, um, counterpart which was sold at Sainsbury's to give you a good idea of how big this guy really is. And he does have a bigger head than his um, shoe right now. He just really has a bigger version of this guy, um, which I'm used to owning. And um, I think the only difference is the hands are just different sculpts. That's basically it. The clothes are slightly different material as well. But yeah, we'll just pull him out of the way. 
Um, this head has been reused on quite a few props, even an, a 6 foot version of this guy, which holds a score with a moving mouth. And it's also used on the witch um, from Wilco as well. So, um, moving on from comparing him, let's get on to the detail. This guy has an absolutely amazing um, detailed face. A lot more detail than the smaller versions. I can see, just take a look at his nose real quick. You can see like every like skin pore in it. Really good quality. And um, one of my favourite parts of him as well is uh, the look of his eyes. Really can't get more creepy than that. And here is his mouth. Another thing you can tell um, that the mouths are different is that he doesn't have a tongue like Albert does here. Because um, it's a bigger mouthpiece, obviously. He's got literally wrinkles everywhere on his face. And he's got this really nice pose and stay hair. Um, which I prefer to have it like this. And um, his head is on a bobblehead, so whenever his mouth moves, it will like shake to the words he says, which is really nice to watch. It gives him a bit more of a realistic effect. And he has got a hunchback, um, which I really like. It really adds to his character. He's holding a handkerchief. Handkerchief, sorry. And he's got this really nice quality suit with um, like dirt stains on it and buttons. And even bow tie and a collar, which is really nice effect. And um, there's a look at his hand real quick. It's, his hands, I want to say it isn't hard plastic, you can actually move it a bit. But <laughs> And um, there is his try me button, there is his sensor, which is, um, that is a light sensor, so it'll only go off when it detects light. And here is the skull, um, which the skull has been reused on quite a lot of props. Um, it's really cool nonetheless, it's got a lot of detail on it that um, some props it's been reused on hasn't got. And here is his dish, it might hold a few sweets, um, but it's really intended for the like holding the skull. And here is his other hand, it's the exact same hand as the Asda bottle that I sold last year, funny, funnily enough. <laughs> and here is his jacket, um, the bottom bits of it. It really does go um, really nice on this guy, even it has these drapes at the back, which is one of my favourite parts about him. He does really look realistic from the back as well. <laughs> and now onto the trousers. It's the same exact material as the um, jacket itself. And at the bottom are his shoes, which are the exact same as a lot of shoes that have been used on Magic Power Props. Now lifting the back of his um, jacket up, I'll show you the module. Um, which you can see takes three AA batteries and um, he has a, a switch where you can switch it to sensor which will say all his phrases in one go and um, you can turn him off and on his button mode where you can just make him say his set phrases um, separately so that's pro I'll probably demonstrate both um, for the purpose of this video um, but yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say for him really so without any further ado, I'll um, press him, and here we go. Here we go. So yeah, that is all his phrases. I do believe this guy is made by Magic Power, so I can tell um, by the shoes and um, the voice probably on the skull is the same voice as Heads Up Harry, I believe. So now going on to using him on sensor, um, I'll turn him on to sensor obviously, and here we go. Yeah, it could be your head here instead of mine. 
so yeah that so yeah guys um there you have it overall really love this prop it's one of my favorite butler props honestly um i really do love like the um add-ins like the what skull says after the butler talks it's, it has, it says some like really funny things and overall this is probably the best prop um tesco i've ever sold i'd love to um see what else i sold or look into it maybe i will eventually but um yeah there you go guys i really can't believe i've uh, got this guy here um, like last minute um would have thought of that to um, wait till next year to get this guy i just want to have this bit on to the end of the video guys but um i just want to thank you all so much for 1200 subscribers and um, we just hit that yesterday and i could, just can't thank you guys enough um just um supporting my channel as much as you can and um this is my fifth halloween season i have been on youtube i have been on um, a few a few worm seasons before on my previous channel but this channel was created in 2016 so really can't believe it guys so this will be sort of a special um, for just hitting that um, milestone and um yeah i just can't thank you guys enough again for um hitting 1200 subscribers but um the next video will be uh, my indoor haunt walkthrough um well tomorrow where um, i will be decorating the front yard um but that will also be showing them the indoor walkthrough as well so make sure to keep an eye out for that video and um obviously uh, my last video of you will be the night time walkthrough which i really can't wait for halloween night as it's the one day we've all been waiting for and, go and i'm gonna try my best to upload on halloween even if it's just a short video wishing you all a happy halloween i'll um, try and do it if that's if i'm not um, really busy on that day so officially i can say that this is my last ghastly review of the year won't be won't be any others um until next year and Snowflake reviews um, or Christmas reviews will be officially starting on the 18th of um, November. That's, or at least that's when I'll be decorating for Christmas. So you'll have that to look forward to. I will start the Christmas season off in a couple of weeks' time, um, showing you some store walkthroughs and quite a bit of an, a bit of an exi exciting update. Me and um, a few other haunters um, that in the Halloween community have decided to do for Christmas. So yeah, we'll have that um, to look forward to. Um, so yeah, but thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, anything you need for Halloween, this is Haunted School.